What's going on, LUW? It's your boy, Hurt. Hey, yo, Onyx, I wore this shirt just for you. Charlie Sheen, baby. Charlie Sheen, baby. LUW, lately, I've been going back and forth, doing a little verbal jousting with the biggest star on LUW SmackDown. Your boy, Triple S, Steve Smith. I throw a little jab, he throws a little cross. All good fun, all good nature fun. And he asked this question, he said, Hurt, why is it that you always have something to say about my brand? Well, there's two answers to that. The number one answer is obvious, it's because I can. I say what I want about who I want when I want with no fear of any repercussions whatsoever. And number two, I don't need to answer it because the answer is all around you. Finally, the Raw locker room is sick of hearing about the SmackDown locker room and they decide to step up. So you go from an entire season of Hurt carrying the entire brand. Entire season of that. That's, that's, that's on hold right now. And now you have the rise of the Phantom Menace. City of Anarchy. Scrunch has a mystery partner. We're waiting to we're waiting to see who it is. The Emperor's around. The rise of BMB. And at the center of it all, at the center of it all, is it's coming. The number one pick on the number one show. The number one contender. Mr. Number One hurt. And now that the LUW Raw locker room is picking up the slack, I can focus on what I need to focus on. The weight is off my back and I can focus on City P. Now City, I'm glad I finally have your attention. I'm glad you're taking notice. And to be perfectly honest, if you went the entire last season without realizing who was carrying the brand, that's on you, not on me. That's fine. I see Anarchy's trying to warn you, and I'll get to that in a second. City, you said this guy's arms are too short to box with God. That's funny. I spoke to God this morning. I said, God. He said, what? I said, I need to ask you a question, God. God said, what is it? I said, why did you put titties on that boy? We all saw Charlotte's nudes. He said, what? I said, why does City P think that because he was protected from me last season, that somehow that means that this season he wouldn't get that work? City, I outperform you on a regular basis. Night after night. Night after night, I outperform you. So what do you think is going to happen when you run into me one-on-one? -on -one? But I see I still don't have your attention. So that brings me to my next order of business. Anarchy, I have your attention. So if you're not doing anything Monday night, I like to do a little test run. You see, I've never got a chance to really lock up with City P. And not a lot of people have beaten him. Not a lot of people know him. So... Up until Extreme Rules, I need to know what I'm up against, just like he needs to know what he's up against. What I don't want is for him to get in the ring with me, the night of Extreme Rules, and go, I underestimated this kid. I didn't see him coming. I slept on him. He beat me because I wasn't prepared. I want him to know the animal he's facing. So if he's not paying attention to what I've done, to everybody in that locker room. He'll pay attention to what I do to you. Now, <clears throat> I don't want that Intercontinental title. I don't want it. It's not my goal. There's enough hungry competitors looking for that belt right now. They're hungry because I'm taking food off of their plate. Understand that. So, if you're not busy, Maybe Monday, we can get to know each other a little bit more. Maybe City P sits ringside. Maybe he sits on commentary. Maybe I win. Maybe I lose. 
But either way, he gets to find out what he's facing. I will destroy the city. I will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt my number one status. I will find out who put titties on that boy. Above all else, I will see you soon.